Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out today. I am indeed Michelle Moore, Director of Technology for Smart Goal Politics, one of the founding members and also the Executive Director of St. Louis Tea Party Coalition. So I came here today to talk to you guys a little bit about getting involved. You're going to hear a lot of inspirational stories today. You're going to hear a lot of very motivating speeches and it's going to get you all ginned up and you're going to be ready to go. So remember the things that I'm about ready to tell you. So we'll start off. Once upon a time, many of us became involved in tea parties on a cold, cold February day. We gave, became unwitting leaders later that year in March and we ran the entire national stage by the time it was April. And look at us now. Now we're having rallies, now we're involved, now we're doing things. We sure have come a long way. Over these long years, no matter what, we have learned that giving up is never an option. Low taxes, less spending, less government, and investing in the future for our children is the only way. Returning to the Constitution and these things are what motivate us. As conservatives, we find ourselves constantly surrounded by those in the media that want to malign us. We have a president that likes to tread on us, and we have other organizations trying to steal our future from us, and we are here to fight back against that. With our rights constantly under assault by those who have a different vision of our country than we do, we have to decide what we are actually going to do to take action. So what are we going to do to protect those rights? What are we, how are we going to overcome the challenges that we face today? Well, first off, I'm here to tell you, do not lose hope, ever, no matter what. We will have defeat and we will have victory, but don't lose hope. That's the most important thing you can do. Second of all, when the calls go out to contact your senators and your representatives, as they so often do, you must do it. When they need witness forms, you must fill them out. When they need people to come in and testify, that's you. I'm talking to you, all of you. If we're not involved, if they don't hear from us, they're going to continue to do what they want, representing us in our state and federal representation. And that's obviously not worked up until this point. We must all be ready to make sacrifices, and that stinks, but that's what's got, you know, we haven't made sacrifices up until this point, and now we must be ready to do so. And also, you've got to get involved with the various groups that are taking action. You need to do action. Rallies are great. Meetings are great. All of that stuff is a lot of fun, but you must do action items, and there are a ton of groups that you can get involved with. First of all, one of my favorite groups that I have been pushing a ton out of is Missouri Precinct Project. So their goal is to be a clearinghouse for interested individuals across the state to work on increasing voter participation and voter turnout. They're always looking for volunteers to walk their neighborhoods, become precinct committee men and women. Um, they need everyone to get involved. And most importantly, they are big on training poll workers or getting people involved in working the polls. So I've got a couple of facts here for you and you might be surprised. It just in uh, St. Louis County alone, we have 550 precincts in St. Louis County divided into 28 townships. There are 400 polling places and each polling place needs eight poll workers. That's four Democrats and four Republicans. Up in North County, they don't have any Republican poll workers. So they allow Democrats to work the polls for the Republican Party. We can't let that stand. You must volunteer as a poll worker. There may be almost no other single thing that you can do that will have the most impact on these upcoming elections. Get involved as a poll worker. It's very simple. You can download a form from the Secretary of State's office, fill it out, send it in. They'll send you a letter in the mail a couple of weeks later and you're ready to go. You get a day of training and then you go and you work the polls. So do that. That may be one of the single most important things you can do. You can also get involved in various groups. Obviously, I represent two excellent groups, Smart Girl Politics and St. Louis Tea Party, or any of the many Tea Party groups around. Get involved with them. St. Louis Tea Party, we have started um, our monthly meetings with the after party, and the goal of the after party is to get people educated on various issues. Caucuses, we brought in Missouri Precinct Project, we brought in Champion the Vote. You know, we're doing things to educate you guys and send you out to get the work done. 
So get involved with groups like that. Smart Girl Politics, we have a whole education wing where we are doing various sorts of training and uh, training people to, to run for different offices if you need that and supporting women across the country in various ways. We also do a huge get out the vote effort. We've got a big national get out the vote rally going on right now. Um, Heritage Action has some great things that you can get involved with. You can become, you know, uh, you can work in their Sentinel program. You can work as a, uh, keep your legislators accountable and all kinds of stuff. So check out Heritage Action. When it comes time, get out and walk the streets. I'll tell you, the very first time I walked the streets and started knocking doors, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to knock on a stranger's door and say, hey, I got a constitution, you want one? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't at all interested in doing it, but I did it. And by the time I knocked on the third door and I didn't get shot or punched in the face, I realized it really wasn't that big of a deal. Go out, talk to your friends and your family and your neighbors. Knock on doors. Make sure they're registered, if nothing else. If they're not interested, in most cases they say, thank you for stopping by, I'm already registered, and I'm not interested in what you have to say. And that's okay. Let them say that. Then move on to the next house. But if people aren't registered to vote, they can't vote. And if they can't vote, Oh, they're not helping us. So do that. And then finally, donate. I know everybody is always looking for money, and it's a drag, but these organizations, this rally won't happen without money. Tea parties can't put on rallies without money. Mop can't print their information to hand out without money. I mean, these organizations do need money. So if you have 5 or $10, donate 5 or $10 to help them out and get them off the ground. Nobody operates on hope alone. And then finally, I'm going to leave you with two excellent quotes because I think not only they describe sort of my attitude, but they'll help all of us feel good as we're out there. Patrick Henry said once during the Virginia conventions, guard with jealous attention the public liberty. Suspect everyone who approaches that jewel. Unfortunately, nothing will preserve it but downright force. Whenever you give up that force, you are an inevit inevitably ruined. And Sir Francis William Butler, Sir William Francis Butler said, the nation that will insist on drawing a broad line of demarcation between the fighting man and the thinking man is liable to have its fighting done by fools and its thinking done by cowards. So always remember that. Thank you. Have a great day.